came as quick as I fucking could. Hoo-ha! Hoo-ha! I was down that whole house giving it fucking yee-haw! Hoo-ha! Buns on them fucking dirty bitches. Mm. Hoo-ha! I understand. I understand. I'm glad you can make it. You know, I know you're a moral man. And so, something very important I gotta say to you. I'm all ears, just tell me what it is. I'm all ears. I'm ready to take it on. What is it? Coming at ya. Coming at ya. It's quite bad news. What? What could it possibly be? Huh? What could it possibly be that you would take me away from a whole house where I was going to get some fucking hot, hot buns on them lady cakes? Ah, hoo -ha. What the hell are you gonna tell me here? I wanna know what this is. Hoo ha! Huh? Why you brought me in here for? What have you got? It's my grandmother passed away. I love your meatballs, but not like those buns, those fucking buns. I understand. I'm just gonna keep it short and sweet. You are a man who is a moral man, and you obey. The law, right? You obey rules laid down by your ancient, long dead. I'm just gonna say it to you. <coughs> Beat of house. What the hell are you telling me here, you fucking... You dragged me out of fucking whorehouse and you fucking... Next thing just tell me I'm doing what pedophiles want me to do. So you tell me, is this what you're laying on me? Is this what I'm seeing here with my own eyes and ears? I'm afraid so. Um, it's all made up piss. It's all fucking bullshit. And you've been going along with it for fucking... I don't know how many years old you are. I'm 21! Okay, you're, you're, you're exaggerating, I think. But the point is this. Under-exaggerating! Okay, okay. The point is this, you do what you fucking told by a bunch of pedophile, serial killing, subhuman fucking garbage. I want to go back down to the fucking whorehouse. I don't need to listen to this fucking shit from anyone. You fucking drag me in here to tell me a cock and bull story about some fucking pedophile ring controlling my fucking mind like I was a fucking puppet on a string, you fucking... You, you... There's something about what you're saying to me is starting to ring true. It, it, it is true. It's true. Unfortunately, it is true. And you're just gonna have to face the fact. The law, as you would understand it, is fucking bullshit. It's made up piss. It's a lot of shit. And to put it bluntly, it's a bag of crap. Full of shit. You mean everyone involved in it knows it's total shit? And I've been down fucking my ass off down that whorehouse of the most moral man you could meet. Hoo ha! And all this time, my mind has been taken over by a bunch of fucking beasts. That's about the size of it, I'm afraid so. I don't know what to say here. I'm gonna finish my shagging, and then I'm gonna come back, and I'm gonna do my serious thinking, and then I'm gonna take action, because I'm a man of action. Hoo ha! The Holy Spirit's got me! Oh no! It's only thing about being a living Christ. The Holy Spirit can get you any time. Oh, oh, for God's sake! Oh, no, oh, where have I landed? I am on planet shit! Right, this is what this place is called, planet shit. Now, here's the thing, right? <sighs> this is planet shit, right? And most people switch this off after fucking 10 seconds to go and look at what Brazil Lady Gaga is wearing next. Fuck. Here's the thing, right? 
Hey, it doesn't matter the fuck, she's a f I'm gonna cover her in Erlon music. I can hardly wait. Oh, hey, boy. Oh, oh, hey. I'm just trying to tune out the Holy Spirit there. I think it's actually. Hey, whoa! No need to say you hurt my bum. Fuck your bum, monkey. The thing is this, right? <laughs> law, right? Law. What is the law? <sighs> hey, what is the law? What is the law? Hey, law is made up piss, right? 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 It's made up shite. Who made the arm? What is the law? Oh, fuck. Uh, 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 uh. What is the law? Where's his microphone tonight? Fuck you. Hang on, right, right, right. Where is the law? Where is the law? What is the law? What is the law? Where is the law? Where is the law? Where is the law? Thing is, that's right. The law is total fabrication made up by a bunch of spasmers, right? And the reason it's made up is really, really quite simple. <sighs> right? Same here. Humans make up nothing. They exist in reality. As they have a wonderful brain, right? Inherited from all their ancestors. Successful is combined, right? Whereas. Psychopaths are a bunch of spazzies! Right, and they make up shite because it makes them think you've gone special. Right, they are, they are absolute, unequivocal, moronic subhuman garbage. Right? Stop that, you! <sighs> right. The law is a pile of toffee. Right, so, basically, a human says, I did not bugger that goats. Right? As far as I am concerned, I should be let off the lo the, 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 the noose. Right? And the other parties say, ah, but there's a thing that makes even breathing uh, a crime. Right? It's all shite. <coughs> as you can tell from that wonderful in-depth study there on law. I'll, I'll, I'll simplify even more. Right? They make up pish so they can rob you, oppress you, murder you, take your children and rape them. And you go along with it. <laughs> you go along with a bunch of spasmos making up a pile of toffee, right? What you doing that for? That's what I want you to know. What you doing that for? So basically, what the fuck are you going along with? A bunch of mental handicapped sex offenders making up pish? For. Right? Really simple phrase. I'll refer to it at the very end. It's called hostile dependency. Oh fuck, my way again on no. What's going on here? Oh fuck. I hope you understand. So, the thing is, that's right. Right? Hostile dependency, I'll come back to it. Um, they depend on you, right? Those pieces of shit with their fucking wigs and their fucking toffee hammers and their high chairs and their creches full of garbage. The reason there's so many stacks of law, the reason there's so many stacks and stacks and stacks of law, right? Is because an autistic spastic, a mental retard, right, comes along who's morally insane <laughs> and with their tiny pinpick of a brain, right, finds a way to con the court temporarily. And so they invent a new law, which then cons people for it could be fucking decades, man. Right? However, then a human being, you know, fights, ha ha, ha ha, ha ha, off with your head, you old cow, you know, or, or, or his head. The thing is, the point being a ghost, but, um, they fight their way to redeem that one pile of shite to what it was before. Yeah. This is a problem. This is a problem. Right? The problem is, we keep letting spastics talk shite believably without punishing them. So even when we make up 
nothing, replacing what they've made up, which is total shite, which serves a bunch, a clique of paedophiles who are warmongering fucking <laughs> subhuman fucking specks of shite. The point is, when we do that, right, and we fight to get this fucking law reinstated, which is simply a reflection of reality and morality, right? The only law that matters a fuck uh, as far as the affairs of men. Robert women. Fuck them. The thing is this, right? Um, the only thing that matters in a court are two fold, yeah? right? You brain scan the fucker. It's called an FMRI scan, right? You can use modern lie detector tests. You can slow down the tells that the person gives because they are a retard, you know, and if they're lying, right, it will show up very, very easily. You do not need uh, all these bewigged fucktards, or as I call them, reptards. What's going on now? Right, I think it's this, right, right, right. So what happens is this, right? That dispenses with all the spasmos, and all you need is one cunt with a fucking clipboard saying, Did you shank the goat, sir? Actually, I, I, I did go ahead and sack the goat. Well, that's the end of this matter. Right, whereas, all, conversely, if they say, I never done nothing, it was not me. You can actually see on the brain scan that they're talking utter fucking shit. And say, for example, you don't know how to do that yet. You don't know how to read simple, straightforward pathology lighting up when someone's talking shite. You can actually see precisely what modules of the brain they're using and what modules of the brain they're lacking. Although I still wouldn't be prejudiced against anyone if they're missing modules of the brain. I'm just looking for whether they're lying or not, right? And it's simple and straightforward, right? And the long and the short of it is that, right? Um, and what you do is you ask them some questions they couldn't possibly uh, have, you know, uh, precognized, right? Um, and to cut long story short, you ask them a series of these questions with a brain and a fucking brain scan machine, as simple as that. And the truth is divined, and that's it. No need for books of, ah, but surely if we take this tiny little letter out of context and extrapolate it to the nth degree, therefore, truth is now bullshit. Right, right, so basically, that's what these spastics make their fucking livings out of, right? Now, when I use the word spastic or mongs or spazzy or whatever, you can think whatever you like. I'm thinking about um, subhuman fucking garbage that needs to be hung by the neck until it's down fucking dead, please. Right, so basically the problem with our so-called species is, right, that we let these pieces of dirt make up a load of shite aimed at causing us enormous offence, and then when we rumble them at it, we let them just go away to think again, right? And they think again, and they come back, and they're worse. They've thumped up another thing, because we always afford psychopaths infinitely more respect than they fucking deserve, right? So, I'm going to take you back in time, now that I've debunked needing anything that remotely resembles the modern legal system, as all you need is truth and morality, and you've got machines and the only law that counts to guide you. If you don't follow it, well, you'll soon find out. Come with me, back in time, to the age of the darky. Right, I'm only joking, it's actually, it's actually to the age before the darky. So, right, where are we? Where you take this? I want to know where I'm going. Right, um, we're back in Kenya. Right, Kenya, who'd have thunk it? Kenya's where we all came from. You know, not, not, not like earlier on today or anything like that, in case you're wondering, you, you, you've blacked out somewhere. So the thing is this, right, Kenya, I, I can prove it, right, people in Scotland still say, Ken, yeah. So, um, it's in, it's in the, the, you know, the memory of the amygdaloid cortex. What's going on here? Right, so the thing is this, right, right, um, so Kenya is where we originated from, right, you know, we, we ended up, you know, evolving from monkeys, uh, and at that uh, juncture, we were all white, all white at the back, right? So, which is why we all still have white palms and soles of our feet, right? Now, thing is, that's right. Back in the day, the first tribe to evolve, right? The king, the king of that tribe was called Fanalelo, 
and, and he had a, a very, very good friend who was the prince, uh, who was called Baba Koto. Uh, he sometimes, uh, you can see him sitting on the bench for Celtic. Point is this, right? <laughs> you dancing? <laughs> Do you know, I was, I was actually um, uh, dancing the other night, and as soon as I started dancing, I thought to myself that I was in league with the universe, right? And as soon as I started doing that, Lightning started above the clouds, and I was just kind of conducting lightning. <laughs> I danced for about half an hour. It's quite tired at the end of it. I'm all joking. I was actually um, exhilarated in a sense, or, or invigorated to be more accurate. Um, it was quite amazing to start dancing, and then lightning starts happening above the clouds in a, a fashion you've never seen before, in a manner that's being conducted by your. Um, you had to be there. So the thing is, that's right. <laughs> As you can see, people who are naysayers, people who are ill-wishers, people who are impotent <laughs> What can I say with my spastic chicken brain that I hope brings him down? What can I say to rob him of his confidence? What can I say that I hope has an adverse affect on him and long-lasting effect, hopefully causing a looping trauma? Fuck all! I think that's right! There's some perfectly good roots and some branches that I'm sure take you away, you fucking potato brain scumbag. And here's the thing, mate. I'm a living Christ. Your shit's garbage. Die, monkey person. Here's the thing, right? So, there we are. In Kenya, right? And we've got fucking King... And we've got Prince Babakoto. Right? And everything's wonderful. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why everything was wonderful in Kenya. Ken, yeah? Right? 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 Everything was wonderful because when a female got out of line, to the river, man! Right? We took her to the fucking river! Right? To the river, man! Right? We took her to the nearest river and drowned the fucking bitch! Right? How about you, sir? How about you? Right. Thing is this, right? So, if she didn't fucking drown, <gasps> oh, she's a witch! Right? Then we'd fucking burn her! At the stake, alive! Right? A Russian stop sign. A Russian stop sign. It's hot, my bum monkey. Fuck your bum monkey, you cow. Here's the thing, mate. <laughs> right, here's the thing. If she didn't drown, we would burn her. Who? Who did this? Who did this? Every single generation of your family, undeniably, every generation of your family took a female. And let's look at this very closely. Are you ready, you fucking spasmo? Oh, fuck, I'm away again. Oh, oh, oh. I nearly get taken with the Holy Spirit there. I must be lightning outside. Here's the thing. Right? right, look at it. A village in those days and ages, right? Everybody would have known everybody, right? Everybody! <laughs> so, basically, every single motherfucker would have known this female personally, intimately, for their whole life. Imagine a whole village of people deciding somebody they've known for decades. Uh, it's time to take her to the river and get rid of the cunt. And if she doesn't drown, burn her! Right? How bad a cunt must she have been? What must she have been up to that would make the whole tribe that she comes from, the whole village, agree that she should be taken to this place and that done to her. And this happened on a regular basis throughout our entire history. <laughs> but look what's happened since we stopped doing it. To the river, man! Right? Since we've stopped drowning and burning females at the stake, it was a mistake. <laughs> right? It's been a mistake ever since. Right? What we need is Vincent Price back from the fucking grave, right? As the bitch finder general, right? And as we're dunking her for the third time, going, drown your cow, there's bubbles flying out her arse, screaming on her behalf. Tis a fitting end to the foul ungodliness in womankind. You know, like basically, that's what we need, right? You know, I could do that, I could, I could play the role. Oh, right? and, and that's what we need, right? When a female is evil incarnate. Right, let's look at the Eskimos. When we look at the Eskimos, I don't want to look at Eskimos. The thing is, 
Eskimos, what do they do when the mother gets to a certain age and she starts a fucking shite? She's a demented cunt, right? Demented, she's always been demented. But the front of her brain starts to shut down. Like when you've had too many sherbets. And the thing is, right, um, and all that's left is the dementia. It's always been there, but she had something at the front to disguise it, to reason with herself. And now she hasn't it. And she's a jabbering annoyance in an igloo. <laughs> so, basically, what did the Eskimos do? What did the Eskimos do? Do you know? Do you know? Do you know? Do you know? What did the Eskimos do? They put her on an ice floe and say, Ta ta, ma'am. Get thyself to buggery, you dunce cunt. In a nutshell. Right? Fact. Generation after generation after generation after generation after generation, generation after generation of Eskimo. To this day, probably. Um, put their mother on a nice floor. Why? Pourquoi? Right? I've just explained. Right? She was an annoyance in an igloo. It's not very easy to say that if you've got a mouthful of mushy peas. Oh, you wait till you swallow them or something. And I guess that's right. So, right, what you need to do is start executing females again. Right, I could fucking track them down. No problem with that, though. Right? They are quite easy to spot. They think nothing of acting out hatred. At innocent men whom they see as sex objects, they see men as a oneness, right, when it suits them, right? All men are just one sex object, like Peter Sutcliffe saw all females as oneness conveniently, right? Uh, their, their ability to pretend is proportionate to the right uh, frontal lobe function, right? So in other words, um, a child with Down syndrome or an adult with Down syndrome, the right frontal lobe is often fucked, to use a technical term, right? So they see people as objects like Jeffrey Dahmer did, right? And if they're lacking left frontal lobe function, right? Stay away, you fucking cunt, right? If they're lacking self-awareness, which comes from cognitive empathy, regardless uh, of effective empathy to a certain extent, then they don't really exist in reality. And your existence in reality is proportionate to how much capacity they have in those areas. Furthermore, their behaviour pattern is dependent upon what they've ingrained, right? And what they've ingrained is, is dependent upon what they've got in the middle, at the front of their head, which gives you morality. And that's all you need. And most people lack it because they're fucking dance cunts. So the thing is, right, right? All you need is morality, right? And if you don't have it, you must look for a moral leader. So what do psychopaths do? They stick someone in front of you who's a psychopath pretending to be a moral leader. Right? And let's just take a wee close look at these fuckers, right? 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 Before we get back to Babakoto and... Basically, these fuckers are standing in front of you in a dress. Right? Black and white binary outfit, right? With a dog collar on. How much more obvious could they make it, right? In Denal Talks, um, where I was raised, unfortunately, predominantly kind of you know, dragged up, however you want to see it. Um, the point being, right, um, in that country, um, the, 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 there's 150% more likelihood you'll be raped by a Protestant clergyman. But all they talk about are the Catholic clergymen who rape kids routinely, right? And that's no, you know, uh, thing to brush under the carpet, you know. I'm pointing out to you that the people they present as your block, as your pawn uh, in their game against you, very important word, against you, that piece that they have there, right, that black and white checkboard that they see reality in because all they've got is this tiny brain that thinks in binary, right? And it's just, you know, use, abuse, hate, love, but love would have the depth of a fucking cigarette paper. The point being, of course, that, right? These pieces of shit stand between you and true morality. Now, it's like an imbecile coming along and saying, listen mate, I know you want to step down those steps, right? I know you want your pal to throw your hat out the window and for you to catch it, but you can't because there's a new religion that's been made up called Gravitas, right? And, and what's to happen here is, for him to throw that down, let us pray, you know? And you have to sit down and listen to an hour long sermon of boring shite, right? Um, about like this, Fuck you! The thing is, right, so, 
You don't get your fucking hat unless you pay a fucking paedophile X amount of money and listen to him talk shite so he can aggrandise himself in a delusional fucking world of make-believe because they don't have the mental equipment to exist in reality. If their face looked like a child with Down syndrome or an adult, you would know, oh, they're severely mental handicapped, you know. And, you know, if they looked, if their body was crippled in a severe way, you know, as you see on, you know, special buses for special kids and stuff like that, you know, you would say, oh, fuck, they're, they're, they've got a lot of mental problems that are affecting them physically uh, and so on and so forth. However, if they look rather pretty, right, then you don't know, you know. So, for example, Bezerko Bampot, you know, who is the, the POTUS, right, uh, in, in America, IA, right, you don't look at him and you think, oh, given one less brain cell, he'd be trying to lick his way through a window on a yellow bus, right? But that's genuinely uh, how mentally handicapped he is. I am a speak your way president machine, and... I come to you here as president of UPIA, sorry, sorry, uh, uh, United States of America, and speaking as your president, um, what I'd like to say to you is that basically um, my teleprompter has stuck, and so I'm just going to make it up. So everyone in the country must hop on one leg and thank me for that not being in a pot of jam, right? So you thought George Bush was fucking stupid, right? He is genuinely more stupid than the Bush family. And the Bush family are the scum of the fucking earth. They are animate shite. And I'll just give you a brief rundown of the Bush family, right? Before I go back to where they came from, right? Um, George Bush Jr. Uh, executed, uh, assassinated uh, JFK Jr., right? And then blew up buildings uh, and is essentially, uh, he's responsible uh, for buildings coming down, uh, three, three at least, uh, in New York City, right? That's quite quite huge offence, right? And then uh, going into war against people that were planted there on his behalf in advance from arriving. And his father, uh, photographic evidence to prove it, uh, is responsible for JFK uh, Sr. Uh, being assassinated. Um, it's really, really quite an enormously bad thing, isn't it? You know, because he wanted to you know, carry on with these kind of warmongering things that paedophiles uh, are obsessed with because it gives them titillation and allows them to delude themselves just like the vicar, you know, that he's superior to everybody who doesn't know they're being conned by him. You know, so that's the idea of an unself-aware imbecile who has no insight. Uh, they don't have enough intelligence uh, to be truly aware of what a fucking imbecile they are. And that's the true definition of a psychopath, a moral imbecile. Uh, however, there's more to it than that, right? And I know exactly what it is. All right, stay tuned, you fucking Jew. Now, uh, 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 I have nothing against Jews, incidentally. Uh, um, you know, um, the uh, Zionist Jews, yeah, uh, call them what you will. Um, uh, they're the scum of the earth and they're behind everything bad that's happening to you right now and you know just look up and you'll see it raining down on you and, and it's also invisibly happening to you uh, and they are genuinely killing you and you're all right with them. So um, <coughs> he's going to become the anti-Semitism. So the thing is, right, 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 George Bush Jr's grandfather, right, right, what was he responsible for? <laughs> <laughs> right, so these are the wee fucking uh, evil bullies in, in the playground, but taking evil as far as their dicks can go. And it's all down to your ignorance, because your belief in things like law and authority and, and all the rest of the bullshit that they feed you from a flashing tube that suits you. So, the point is this, right? right? George Bush uh, Jr.'s grandfather, um, was behind starting World War II and funded Hitler all the way through it, you know, until they were setting him up and they could take advantage. You can always take advantage of a megalomaniacal psychopath uh, because of their determination, their obsession with these tiny, tiny points and their delusions of grandeur, their delusions of intelligence and their delusions of perfection. I ask you. So here's the thing, mate. Right, really, really quite straightforward, right? So you're being murdered by pedophiles, right? They live under the fucking ground, right? They do, right? 
and they've got all the antidotes and they don't take any of the shit you're subjected to, right? And even while that's happening to you, to keep you stirring, they increase the volume of abuse in your life. It's called ambient abuse. Look it up, you fanny. And the thing is, the more abuse they are fucking subjecting you to, the more they are controlling you, because the more you'll be sidetracked with these hellish things happening to your life because you believe in the con of money, you believe in their bullshit, towering books of bullshit law. It's all fucking bullshit. You think about all the fucking shite laws they've made up, they're all bullshit, right? To take one law down, it's gonna take you 10 years and 200,000 fucking quid and you'll still not get there because they're all in the same fucking paedophile ring. If you were a fucking paedophile, would you really want to go out on your own? Wouldn't it be something you would ideally want to be involved with other people um, doing because that way you don't have to take the blame which lunatics are uniformly, atypically uh, wanting to pretend somebody else is to blame for going if I should, you know, when you just me with all the fucking vicars and fucking high court judges, you know, and basically, right, right, lunatics remain arrested in their emotional development um, for various reasons but one big one is they pretend they're not to blame and never stop pointing their finger at you, ever, right? Every single thing a psychopath does uh, that you uh, are offended by or you sense they're trying to offend you um, uh, can be simplified as just You are what I am! You are what I am! You are what I am! That's it, right? And how you remedy that is you smash their face through the back of their fucking skull, right? Really, really simple, right? Uh, in, a, in a later video, I'll give you special techniques uh, you can use um, to execute psychopaths really quite quickly. Especially when they're coming, because uh, you won't notice the anti-social psychopath ejaculating in front of you. Um, and even the pro-social psychopath uh, who is delusional, they're anti-social, uh, they, they will ejaculate in front of you and you will not see it. You can watch Nuremberg after Nuremberg after Nuremberg there weren't any more than that. And, and basically, you will not see you know, Hitler. You'll not see him ejaculating. However, um, it, we'd walk away with a, a, a wet patch on his jodhpurs. Uh, and yeah, genuinely, you know, he, he would ejaculate in public all the time. And that is, uh, if you slow down the tells of Berserko Bampot, you can see the tells uh, that he's ejaculating. He ejaculates man again and again and again and again and again. In a space of like, say, three minutes, I have witnessed him ejaculating like 30 times, right? I am a speaker weight pressure machine. And um, basically, you have to slow it down uh, to one two thousandth of a second, but I see them at real time, you know? I've always been able to do that. If you wonder why my, my throat's sounding a bit husky, it's because I'm a singer and I've been recording a new album. You wouldn't understand anything, about, anything at all about that, you know, because you're too busy watching square-headed poofs uh, telling children uh, that they can't sing uh, without being aware, ever. You're never aware that they're a paedophile until uh, 50 years after them fucking kids and then all the kids start coming out going, nobody would believe us, nobody would believe us. You know, like rejects from Michael Jackson's Thriller video, you know. And you know, like, ah, 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 now then, now then. And um, basically, um, you always have to wait until it's too late. However, you know, Simon Cowell uh, is a paedophile. You know, it's really quite important. You realise, oh fuck, I'm watching a homosexual paedophile making children cry on live television. Because if you really knew his mind, man, you would want to hang him uh, today. You know, uh, Max Clifford and all that fucking shite. You know, you'd want to hang them uh, if you knew precisely everything that they're all about. And if you don't want to hang them when you find out what they're all about, hang yourself. So, that's the problem with the species, right? Uh, we have taken consequence out of the equation, you know? When a female was a fucking psychopath, who basically was an emotionally incontinent arsehole, right? Who was having an adverse effect on everyone in, in the village, we took her to the nearest river and provided her with a fitting end, you know? And also, and this is the most important thing I can say about that, predominantly, we did that to males, 
right? But you'll never ever fucking hear about that. And just think of the insanity, right, of, you'll still read in the newspaper to this day, right? If you read that shit, um, we, it must never happen again. <laughs> we, there must never be like a burning of, of witches ever again, ever, right? As though there's anyone going to be reading that who's directly descendant from a witch that was burned, right? Who said, oh, I agree with that, because I know when it comes. You know, nobody. So what the fuck is that doing there in the you know, fucking Zionist Judean post, right? Um, what's it doing in there, right? It must never happen again. It shows how bad men are to females, right? Even though females commit the vast majority of crime right across the board, right? And the point being, of course, that um, that's what your legal system is, is, you know, predicated on and preys upon. The fact that they are uh, bullshitting scum who drag men into that system on a regular basis. Uh, two thirds of females who do that are lesbians, right? <laughs> and those scumbags have got into a relationship with a heterosexual man, fucked with his head, deluding herself, she's the queen of chaos. <laughs> I'm conducting his emotions like I was conducting lightning. She's <laughs> trying to cause a man brain damage. And I'll tell you who I got that phrase off of. <laughs> As it happens, Jimmy Savile, you can see it in a, a documentary on him. Uh, he was asked why um, he doesn't live with a female and he said brain damage. And I said that to a serial killer uh, called Marie McCallum, uh, who has basically got a get out of jail free card. As all lesbians who are complicit with your law system. Right? System. Right? Uh, they have a get out of jail free card as long as they keep fleecing males and giving money to the paedophile ring. Right? And the long and the short of it is they're all in it together and if you really knew their thoughts you would realise Jesus fucking wept, you know. Jesus knew this, you know. Jesus of Nazareth, yeah. Uh, he was a living Christ. A man truly evolved in the prefrontal cortex circuitry which gives you an evolved uh, perception of morality and I am really truly evolved there as well and so although I've been tried sorely as was he remember uh, Italians, uh, Jews so-called and Palestinians all uh, and, and his closest nearest and dearest all called for him to be executed assassinated actually on behalf of the lying Jews uh, and all he said was he, didn't, he said we're all the sons and daughters of God he said I'm from above you're from below. It was the most uh, uh, advanced way of saying for those times that he's evolved, you know, and you're not evolved. And I've been magnifying the minds of the fucking animate shite that I was Christ-like towards my entire life uh, until I finally reached the final solution, which is brutal, merciless, physical consequence, you know. I'm a living Christ, really remarkably evolved uh, moral conscience, and see people <laughs> as humans even though they're not, you know, and have an, an enormous depth uh, of emotion uh, and so on, and, and compassion and so on. But um, only if you have those uh, evolved uh, aspects of your brain can you channel the moral law of the universe, otherwise you're being misled by Pan! The Pan Piper, right? He's leading you off a fucking cliff to your death, you know, and you're going with him, you know, being misled by homosexual paedophiles telling you you can't sing whilst on another channel I presume um, uh, there's homosexual paedophiles uh, hiding in plain view, masturbating in plain view, uh, telling uh, tired saggy old fucking ex soap opera uh, actresses that they can't dance with a fuck and, and that's what you're sitting in watching thinking I could do better myself, I could do that one day I could be told by a poof that I can sing and the living will have gone special. Right, so, I think that's right, right? Basically it's all bullshit. So, they want you sitting in a flashing box feeding you what they've been trying to make you since infancy. Immoral and narcissistic, right? Keeping you arrested uh, so you don't develop and go into the pretend blame game. So when you see somebody else getting hurt, you're quite happy about that. If somebody else falls flat on their face, you're quite happy about that. Right? So, you get a world war from that, right? You might not be able to see how that naturally follows. I give you Dresden, World War II! Right? And this is where I am right now. I'm actually in Dresden uh, just before World War II, right? And I'm seeing the people then who've been programmed to be narcissistic, right? 
to the extent where they want to prey on other people as they don't have the development of mind that me or a, or a or a, another Christ would have, you know. Can't even find them, it's about. And and uh, the long and the short of it is, so uh, they're programmed to become more and more narcissistic, told that they're the greatest people in the whole of Europe and that uh, everyone is inferior to them uh, and that they are, they're these beautiful imaginary creatures, right? Most of them were fucking brunettes, yet they're seeing themselves as these fucking beautiful, blonde, uh, Aryan uh, gods and goddesses. And the person telling them all this is five foot two with a fucking greasy brown cow's lick. And he's masturbating in front of them, you know, you just can't see it. And um, he knows he's talking utter fucking shite. And him and Stalin uh, killed their first girlfriends. Um, in Hitler's case, it was his, I think it was his cousin, it was a relative anyway. And they killed them by preying on the nerves in the prefrontal cortex until the girls had enough and they saw something that takes a long time for a human to magnify. So they were obviously very human women. And there they were with inhuman beings uh, who are subhuman to be accurate and uh, who pride themselves if they can control your brain, if they can con you like the vicar, uh, like the paedophile judge, if they can con you, you know, then it makes them feel that being born with a peanut for a brain is an advantage, is, is actually gone superior, right? And for as long as you go along with it, you know, they can delude themselves of this con and when you catch them, you just let them go back to doing what they were fucking doing without providing them with CONSEQUENCE! Yeah? I've no need to shout my bum monkey's there. Fuck your bum monkey! The thing is, that's right. Right, right. You need to provide them with consequence and I'll give you a very, very good recent example, right? Gator aid! What? Gator aid! What have we done? Gator aid, right? The fucking filthy subhuman Zionist garbage were putting shit into it that destroys the genetics of yourself and future generations of your entire family. And a wee tiny girl says, Here, I'm not going along with this push. I've checked and that does your fucking bum monkey in. Right? So, the spazzies behind Gatorade come out and go, ah, 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 and put their arm round her in a photo opportunity to say, this is how magnanimous we are. We're taking out the toxic sludge that we've put into Gatorade uh, to try and quickly kill uh, all the people that we want to kill because we are the chosen people because we have half a fucking chicken's brain uh, uh, and that's uh, basically we've got a wee ring of paedophiles that we'd like to carry on uh, growing and growing so we can get access to tons and tons more children like this. Um, and so here we are giving her a check and apologising for putting in the toxic, genetic mutating, slow killing shade. Right? And then went straight back to making Gatorade and everyone starts buying it again. <laughs> right? I'm your milkman. I'm the milkman of human kindness and I'll leave an extra pint at your door. Right? So I'm, I'm your milkman. Right? You say, Earl, I'd like, I'd like, oh, that sounds remarkable, like the accent I was just doing a minute ago. Try another one. Earl, I'd like a pint of your fantastic new goat's milk, if you don't mind, sir. Coming at you, sir. Coming at you. I'll, I'll, I'll drop one on your doorstep every day. How about that? Here, that's fantastic. I look forward to it every day. So every fucking night, I'm wanking into his milk because, as far as I'm concerned, he's not treating me like Marilyn Monroe. Right? And so, every fucking day, I'm getting off ameliorating against uh, the hatred I have for him for not treating me as though I'm Clark Gable, right? And because he's drinking my spunk, I feel a bit better about the fact he doesn't treat me as though I'm Brad Pitt, right? She's lying, right? Eventually his daughter says, Here, this milk tastes of spunk. And her father says, Here, how do you know what spunk tastes like? I'll draw a veil over that one. So the thing is this, right? Uh, uh, so, the father contacts me, right? What are you wanting? What are you wanting? Here, you're spunking this here milk. Next thing, we're in front of the local press and I've got my arm around his daughter, saying, absolutely, you've gone correct in what you've said, right? Gone official, right? The thing is this, right? I did, I came in the milk, right? But I'll never do it again, here's a check. And from now on, there'll be no more coming tip milk. 
I'll have another pint tomorrow, Earl. Thanks very much. Good boy. Hey. How insane would that be? Would you want to be appropriate to fucking hang the milkman by his fucking balls? Yeah? Take him to the fucking river, as he did with more men than females who you'll never read about. When do you ever open the newspaper and it says, Warlocks used to be drowned and burned routinely. It must never happen again. No, what you find is man's cock get cut off by angry, hate-filled, psychopath, lesbian. <laughs> it's a cause celeb. So the point being, of course, to get back to it point, right? If you know the person personally, you don't have this disconnect. You say, I want to kill my milkman. Or to put it more accurately, I want to kill my milkman. Right? So, why are the people from Gatorade just like, it always pissed me off. Why is it nobody executes the Wizard of Oz? He sent out flying fucking monkeys, evil fucking trees, tried everything in his power to, to have an adverse affect, long lasting trauma on them and effect, he even fucking rips the guts out of the straw man. Right? And then when they rumble him, right? And they pull back the curtain, right? He's like, Ah, oh, oh well, <laughs> alright, there you go, here's a ticket back to Kansas, you know, watch the rest of the movie in colour. Ch cheerio now. No, 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 if I was there, <laughs> bethud, yeah, then I'd be going back to fucking Kansas, yeah? So, because <clears throat> yeah, I'm a real man, I'm a living Christ. Right, so, the point is this, right, see most people in America, right, they're as thick as shit, right, that's a simple fact, right, and they become a oneness when you, t when you tell the truth. Right? Uh, every single person who, who's in America who heard me say that, right, would think, <laughs> right? They, they consider themselves as a oneness when you slag off America. However, they themselves can say dreadful things that are probably true about America and that's okay, you know. So it goes back to being a division again. But, but it's the same with females, you know, if you say something about a female, then that female is at liberty to imagine she's part of a sorority. And after she's finished carving you up, right, she then goes back to hating every other lesbian on earth. So the point is this, right? Point is this, right? Right? You need to start providing them with brutal, merciless physical consequence and use lethal force um, if they resist, right? It's just a matter of getting together, uniting, right? Putting aside your petty differences, right? Right? You, you can go back to killing each other over who shagged whose goat in 1982, right? After you go to where they are, the genocidal paedophiles, <laughs> and fucking execute them if they resist. Otherwise, neuter them, castrate and spade them, and put them in an open air asylum where we can then contend with them thereafter. Right? And that's an end to all the problems, but what we'd have to do because of incontinent baby is we would have to um, purify the Earth's atmosphere and work like fuck putting ourselves into a waste-free optimum, taking advantage of the people that are genociding in Africa and all these places to get together, and the people that are routinely killing in China, get all these people into a oneness so we can get ourselves to fuck off the planet in biospheres and watch it fucking recover in its own time. It'll be thousands and thousands of years before this Earth recovers um, for our species uh, to get any use out of it. However, um, the Zionist Jews have uh, antidotes for everything that they've created. Um, and like I say, uh, the determination, you have to see it, the determination of the megalomaniacal psychopath, and I've seen it, is harrowing, man. You know, but, you know, when I see it, you know, it's just like, I just want to fucking smash the man in the fucking mouth, you know. I have nothing to do with anyone, so... Um, I just want to get further and further and further away. And because I channel the moral law of the universe, unsurprisingly, miracles happen all around me. you think that that would make world news, you know, but obviously the Judean Post don't like to know there's a miracle performing living Christ on earth, you know, um, and uh, <laughs> maybe it's uh, better that they don't. And so, right, so, point is this. I said on YouTube, evidentially, uh, just over a quarter of a decade ago, I want to live in a forest. But I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't uh, fall over at the time. Uh, the, 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 then, uh, what I'm saying now is, I want to live on a mountain. And I'm, I'm moving towards the mountain. And I'd quite like to get back to Africa. Which is quite convenient, right? So, for la 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 and Babakoto are in Africa, in Kenya. Okay, yeah. Right, so, while they're there, 
That's what we evolved from. Sir. Sir, why Kenya? Right? Basically, we evolved, obviously, from there. And the very, very, very first um, example of ourselves forming into a tribe came because of our care, our depth of care for one another. Yeah, We accepted some kind of a pecking order, but only based upon morally caring about one another. You know, so you had King Falero, and you had his prince, you know, uh, Babakoto, right? Whose descendants can be seen warming the bench for Celtic, right? And the long and the short of it is, they had to make decisions, right? Because the tribe was growing, right? So what decisions did they make? Well, it was down to Babakoto, wasn't it? Um, the king was too busy with his harem of fucking monkey women. They've not really evolved much, have they? And so he sent Babakoto uh, uh, out on a, you know, a reconnaissance mission. And what he wanted to find out was who were the people who we should be shoving, you know, out the way, as it were, uh, away from, you know, the centre uh, of the origin of our species, right? And so Babakoto went out and, uh, and, you know, kept his ear to the ground and followed all the different little cliques that were forming due to inbreeding and people not wanting to breed with those people and so on and so forth. And, you know, uh, from all those different little tribes who were getting shoved further and further and further away from the epicenter uh, of the origin, right, were the most shite. Yeah. So the people who live the furthest away from Kenya are the most shite people on earth. You know. So Babakoto went in the first tent that he went to, he listened to it. And inside, um, he heard these voices. Billy, Billy, take your cock at that range mouth there, dirty fucker. You know what I mean? I've got a perfectly good mouth over here myself. Right. Aye, all right then, aye. I know it's just, it's tradition, isn't it? Tradition. My dad fucked me in the arse, so I'm fucking this one in the mouth. Aye, that's an upgrade when you look at that. You're a fucking party fucker. <laughs> Quite a bit <laughs> <laughs> so Babakoto had had quite enough of that shower of shite right, and their traditions. Right? So he goes over to the next little clique uh, on this on this perimeter uh, of Kenya origins, really, of our species, and he finds there uh, a group of people. Thanks. Fuck them. Right? And. <laughs> <laughs> and he looks through the fucking, you know, the, the hay, and they're fucking up to all sorts, man. Oh, no, right? He's seen enough, right? He's enraged, right? And so then he goes into this other fucking section of the outskirts, right? And he finds another shower of fucking garbage. And it's just garbage after garbage after garbage. So he's pretty much got a good idea, right, of, of what these people are all about. And if you, if you pan forward, right, you know, you've got the people who ended up near the middle being the middle best. You get the people who the furthest reaches being the most shite, you know. It's really, really subhuman, inbred, insane garbage, right? And so when Baba Koto came back to and, and, uh, and delivered this information from his reconnaissance mission, you know, it was decreed these people had to be launched, right? However, you know, Bully, bully, yeah, in a lane, right? When they were leaving, they said, We'll be back, by the way. Aye, we'll be back, by the way. We'll be back, we'll be back. We'll be back, by the way. We'll be back. And Babakoto and, and, and you know, for the little, they thought this was impossible. And Babakoto announced this to them, but they were adamant that they would return for this great wrong that had been done to them. So Baba Koto says to Fololololo, right, um, let's just fucking kill them. But the king would not hear any of that because that'd be blood on our hands. He's in league with the moral law of the universe, he's a caring moral man. But Baba Koto said if we don't, an enormous evil will come from that. Look, we are shoving them out. Think of the illogic of that. We are spreading evil to encompass the entire earth while we're stuck in fucking Kenya. It's us that should be fucking going out and them inbreeding in Kenya. Yeah. However, before Billy and, and Elaine left, Elaine turned and said, What about their Bampot family? They're a bunch of fucking cunts. At least we don't even put a mask on. They're wearing a mask. The Bampot family getting them to fuck. But they didn't. They didn't evict 
Now the Obampot family, um, you're suffering for that to this day. Right? So, the tribes fucked off, right? And the most shite people who nobody in Kenya could stand because they try to torment people when they've been tormented, right? And the person they try to torment is always innocent and they're relentless, they're determined, right? They are ruthless, they're immoral, they're savage, they're unself-aware, they just see you as an object <laughs> to take their shit out on, yeah? Baba Koto noticed the Hun village was always taking its garbage and its shit and going to the next village where these kind of ginger bastards were and dumping their shit with them and then going to the king and saying, they're dumping their shit at our house. Yeah, that's them to a T, right? They do it to you and pretend you're doing it to them, blah, blah, blah. Psychopaths are identical, you know, you don't get much variation on three-year-olds, right? right? And, and they are arrested at that age. And if you look at the womb, right? Um, and uh, you will see uh, that basically you go from essentially a tadpole to a frog to a rat to a dog, to a monkey, to a human baby. In nine months, you see it all happening, right? Evolution uh, being accelerated in less than a year, right, in the womb. So, a womb with a view, right? And the long and the short of it is, um, so, however, you see that evolution, you know you go from a zygote to what you are today, a fucking billy goat. <laughs> right, um, I'm just kidding. Right, don't be gruff. Um, the, the thing I'm pointing out is this, right? At some juncture, right, you can see this, right? There are people born with arrested limbs, right, of their body physically, right? You know, arrested, uh, like, you know, legs and things like that, you know, and I've yet to meet a hun who can make it to the grave with a full complement of limbs. And in the 10 years that I studied huns quite closely, um, never did I meet one who made it to the end of the 10 years with both legs. <laughs> in the same condition, they first walked through my door uh, and I took their money and gave it to starving darkies. So the thing is, that's right. The point being is this, right, that so just like you can have an arrested limb, that's the best impression of an arrested limb you'll ever see, um, you can have an arrested limb of the brain, uh, and unfortunately, psychopaths have several arrested limbs. However, they con you, and that's what makes them think you've got any specialness, right? Um, and they con you really quite easily by bullshit. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. And one technique, right, one simple technique, you have a moral conscience, so you don't want empty to think you're a bad person because you know you are a good person. However, when someone who is fucking rotten to the core points their finger at you and says, you're a bad person, oh, oh, or, uh, uh, oh, oh, right? Whatever words are behind that shite, right? You will self-examine, you know? I never have. Um, in, the, in, in the way that the imbeciles have presumed I have. You know, I've just fundamentally lacked arrogance, so I, I've never been so arrogant as to believe I'm the arbiter of truth, and I've never been so stupid as to believe they're the arbiter of truth. Uh, lacking arrogance and presuming they have self-respect, which they don't, lacking self-awareness, their concept of self-respect is nonsense, right? um, and basically corruption and actual evil, uh, the definition of it. So. Uh, the point being uh, that uh, I just presumed that they believed what they were saying to be true. I didn't know that they were insane, you know, morally insane, uh, lacking self-awareness uh, and not seeing others the way they should with a full duplex, you know, complex, uh, an external map of reality that, that should be there. You know, they see reality no better than a dog or a monkey, uh, which lacks the theory of mind. And the long and the short of it is, um, yeah, so their idea of getting revenge, existential revenge, for you being born human is to pretend to themselves that you take yourself too seriously. To pretend that to themselves, that you take yourself too seriously and that you have a vulnerability. If they calculate that they can offend you and you don't provide them with brutal, merciless, 
physical consequence, then <laughs> they get off on it. They go from one extreme of the wall of death in their head, lacking a soul, to the other extreme. <laughs> there can be only one! Right, um, they go into like a, a fucking, uh, a, a, a shite impression of Highlander, right? And they are garbage. And because as a species, it's been pathologically engineered out of your repertoire, right? Even though all your ancestors survived because they executed bad males and bad females in that order. Right? However, um, you've stopped doing that because you are worried that, that would make you a bad person. You may even genuinely think that would make you a bad person if you provide bad people with consequence. Yeah? Unless you do, they'll keep. They'll just keep putting cum uh, in the Gatorade. Yeah? Until you go to where they are and fucking execute them. Plug them at source. Yeah? That's not it. That's it. Don't start with your bum monkey again. Here's the thing, right? So, all the shit of the day fucked off from Africa, right? Now, they, the, the most evolved people were the Asian people, and they can offshore in uh, each direction. Uh, however, the, the least evolved were essentially the people who were to become Peruvian, the people who were to become uh, uh, Celts, really, uh, but specifically Scots, um, and the Pygmy tribe who were picked up by probably the most insane of all the tribes who were the ancient Egyptians um, and they started all this fucking shite, you know, this pyramidal crap. However, the Peruvians had the exact same mentality and they had a pyramid obsession. All psychopaths are obsessed with pyramids and pyramids are the epitome of weakness, right, and corruption incarnate, right? You turn a pyramid upside down, the person at the bottom is showing enormous strength holding everyone up, right? They're human. They're thinking rightly, uh, they're thinking morally, and they're channeling, coincidentally, uh, the moral law of the universe through that cone, right? <laughs> essentially. Yeah, and I'm not aware of that, really. Um, you know, it's just, it keeps on happening. You know, see, if you had earned as much money as I do when I just open my eyes in the morning, you know, um, you'd be out celebrating. It, it barely registers me. <laughs> like, here's excellent news, Errol. You know, here's, you know, like three times the amount of DOS you had yesterday. Oh, really? Aye. You know, it's just so, you know, and, and there seems to be a fiscal law of the universe, you know? And it's it's to that finite, you know, what a, like, a, almost to an autistic extent, you know, like, um, uh, where every finite detail of my life is being rewarded, however, selflessly, I still expose myself to animate shite. Who guess and hope in my direction? See if I type shite with my extra thumbs, my erected extra thumbs? There must be something I can type that'll make him choose to react. You mean my spastic chicken brain wants him to react? See if my spastic chicken brain wants him to react? He must choose to react that way when I type by pretending and hoping, pretending and hoping, pretending and hoping. So that's a psychopath for you. It seemed awfully like you. Get out of here, your mum's a darkie. So the thing is, right, your mum is a darkie, but the thing is, we were all white. Right? All at the back. Right? So, unfortunately, you know, uh, the bad people left Kenya, uh, and then they did keep their promise, and those fucking subhuman pieces of garbage went back to Africa. And as you know, you know, they um, wreaked an almighty revenge. Uh, because Baba Koto was right, you know. Uh, unfortunately, moral people have to kill the immoral. There has to be a mass cull of them if they resist uh, being separated from the human race and all the shite that they're obsessed with putting into other people's lives remedied, uh, you know. Um, and it would take a massive cleanup operation. However, they have. Uh, the equipment to make the cleanup operation happen, right? All these drones that are coming out of these Chinese factories, believe it or not, um, along with flying humans uh, who've decided to, they've had enough, really, and just chuck themselves out the window. And you're all right with that. You just go back to watching Square Headed Poof sing, the way you sang that song was a fucking disgrace, right? You're through to the next round. And so, uh, or, or, I know I'm the one that everyone looks to to impersonate uh, the square-headed poof, who's a paedophile, 
uh, whose best friends are paedophile, and it's on record. Uh, they paid £50,000 to uh, bail him out, even though he'd been uh, brought on charges because he's a paedophile and he's his closest friend. And just like Ian Paisley. Huh? Ian Paisley? Do you know who Ian Paisley is? Ulster says no! The no! Right? Uh, Ian Paisley, literally, um, predominantly pig, barely human at all, right? You can tell just by his bone structure. He's a prehistoric uh, beast, right? And Ulster says no! L -l Listen, Ian, we're, we're just offering you some cake. Ulster says no to your papist cake! No, no, no. Ian, Ian, it's not, it's not papist cake, you know. It is papist cake! You're a Catholic, I can see your crucifix! Right? St. Bram Stoker would have a fucking field day with that shit, right? And no, listen, Ian, no, no, it's been made by an inbred hun with fucking two thumbs in each hand in the kitchen. In that case, I'll take it, you know? And basically, Ian Paisley uh, is walking shite. He's a megalomaniacal psychopath, which means there's a 90% likelihood that he's a paedophile. Let's look a little bit closer at that one. Uh, Ian Paisley's best friend uh, is guilty of such heinous crimes against children, uh, including sex uh, crimes uh, and obviously all sorts of carnage. Right? that the pigs, uh, when they arrested him, refused to document uh, X amount of his crimes because they were um, almost unmentionable. Quite convenient that though, eh? Um, and so, um, that, that was Ian Paisley's best friend. Yeah, you'd smell a rat with that, wouldn't you? You know, you think the BBC would smell a rat, you know, constantly giving new jobs to Jimmy Savile? <laughs> that happens. Um, and so, I right, am, um, you know, a, a wonderful caring man, I always thought. Um, yeah. And so, um, uh, scum like that can obviously hide in plain view, as I've said repeatedly. They get off on deluding themselves that intelligence is lying. Right? And because you don't want to be thought of as a bad person, this multiplies this uh, vulnerability that allows the imbecile to believe that you're weak. Uh, you're the one with the vulnerability, so that's a weakness. And they will prey on it, yeah? With this tiny, tiny, tiny tube cruel of a mind that they've got. Just this wee tiny pinprick. And, in a nut cake, right? You can stop it instantly by hammering them with the truth, which I did when I was four and a half. Their shit's garbage. I started studying them when I was four and a half. And this is beyond their comprehension, because if you give them the time of day, they believe it's working. The magic's working, yeah? They believe they're a bully, they know themselves to be a sex offender, they get off on it, it helps ameliorate against their self-loathing, they're leaving their shit and garbage in your life, <laughs> then they waddle off lighter. That's the phenomena of their wiring and their brain being back to front and having no self-awareness and being morally insane, right? And it's harrowing to know in the West, the people who are the furthest flung from Africa are the most shite people mentally. And they've inbred, obviously. They're still white! Right? So the people who are brown, the browner you are, right, the more evolved you are, right? Right? Because obviously some mutation has taken place. You were white. Everybody was white. Right? So the people who are still white pygmies, right, are the most unevolved people on earth. And where was I fucking raised? <laughs> Denal talks, you know. God almighty, Jesus fucking wept, you know. Um, the most unevolved people on earth, right? right? They're, they're down there with the Peruvians and the fucking Zionist Jews who were Egyptian fuck toys, right? They were Pharaoh's favourites, you know, mummy's favourites. Yeah, that's who the, the Jews were originally. Moses, as I covered in a previous video, had to rescue them, right? But by fucking rescuing them, just like Baba Koto and fucking for they, they proliferated that shite throughout fucking Europe. Now there's another group of people um, in, in certain parts of Europe. And there's no point, you know, uh, targeting specifics, but Romanians do stand out a fucking mile, man. However, you know the Bulgarians and, and the Portuguese are not far behind them. You know, uh, these people are all uh, very, 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 very inbred, um, and although the Portuguese do have some saving grace. Um, uh, the Romanians that I've met have no saving grace whatsoever at all. Um, they're so stupid, they're the definition of evil. And that's really the best way to put that uh, from my studies. And so, um, imagine being so stupid, right? You're the definition of evil and, and the word that you're looking for is blunt. Right? That's, that's why they're evil. So if you want something, just punch you and take it, obviously.
So if they calculate that you'll not provide them with CONSEQUENCE, then basically they'll just keep doing it. The Wizard of Oz, uh, the Gatorade, you know, um, ejaculating into your drink, shitting on you from the fucking sky. I mean, look up, for the love of fuck, they can't believe what they're getting away with. They know that you should stop them, and if you go to where they are and stop them, they know that you've been so programmed and fear being thought of as a bad person by people who are rotten to the fucking core, yeah? Jimmy Savile, uh, imagine him saying to you, uh, actually, if you try and hang me, it makes you a bad person, going official, uh, as if now then, now then, right? Hang them by the fucking testicles until they're stoned in. Do what your ancestors did, you would not exist if your ancestors hadn't started culling what fucking... and fucking Babakoto should have done, yeah? Now you look at all the different people who have been forced out of every fucking country they've been in, right? Right, the Scots being number one, right? Scots were fucked out of every fucking country, even with those ginger bastards in Ireland, right? Ireland. I'll fight you in the morning. Take a beer, take a boo, take a beer, take a beer, whatever the, begins with a D. The thing is, right, you know, and, and they stood out even in Ireland, right? Right? And they were fucking shoved across the sea to a, a, a series of outcrops that I call um, the Peed Off Isles. You're welcome. You'll see it again, Tam Weird. So, the thing is, right, 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 the Scots are the, are, are the scum of the earth, right, the, not, not all of them, obviously, um, but um, the real scum, right, who are down there with the Zionist Jews and in collusion with them, uh, are actually in denial talks right now, uh, and they're the people who need wiped off the face of the fucking earth, period, right? Now, they're surrounded by fucking nuclear missiles and all oh, this kind of a shite, and armies of khaki, pyjama-wearing lesbians' sons who've been abused psychologically and um, who want conflict, you know, but they don't realise the conflicts they're in. Every single fucking conflict they're in is already preordained, you know, just like your kangaroo courts. Uh, the the verdict's already preordained. My verdict's in on this species, and it took me a long time to come to it, you know. Um, and it's time, you know, um, uh, to make your choice, really. And it's really quite simple, you know. Um, you're becoming extinct at a rapid set of knots in front of my eyes, you know. And... Um, you have a choice, you don't have to become extinct. You're sitting in watching. I know I told you to sing that song, um, but the way you sang it was gone brilliant. You know, and everybody applauds. <laughs> yeah, well, they're fucking eating poisoned variations on potato shapes, yeah? And, uh, and what a, an insane homosexual paedophile with a fucking perfectly flat head and a fucking belt buckle under his thrapple, right? Says, is what gets you going in your juices and your chicken brain, right? You're watching that shite, imagining, man, Jody, tell me, when I sang into a spoon in 1983, one day I'd be thought of as going special. The fact is, you are fuck all! Fuck all! Yeah. Fuck all! Yeah. You probably don't like that fact, right? but you genuinely are fuck all, right? If you can get that through your fucking head, that you have fuck all to show for your delusions of grandeur, absolutely fuck all, and countless children are being fucked in the arse because you're a fucking retard who thinks they're gonna be the next fucking Marlon Monroe or fucking Clark Gable or fucking Brad Pitt. You're an imbecile! Yeah. There's no need to say. Don't start with your bum monkey again. Right? Wake up! Yeah? They are fucking poisoning you! If they were doing it in your living room, if there was a fucking Jew sitting in your fucking living room, a Zionist scumbag with a fucking shit fountain, would you not go and plug it at source? If it happens a little bit further away, I have to watch shite on the telly box. Right? You are fuck all! You have nothing to show for your delusions of grandeur! You have fuck all! Right? Nothing! You have no talent, you're not good looking, and you're not intelligent, and you're as far removed from perfect as it's possible to fucking be physically, geographically, yeah? Chronologically, genetically, 
It's impossible for you to be further removed from perfection! Yeah? I still don't think he needs to show. He could have said that just much more calmer. Shut up! I think it's that's right. <clears throat> it's time to go to where they are and fucking kill them! Right? What more would I have to fucking say? Do! They've got nuclear weapons, khaki pyjama wearing fucking trained serial killers, fucking lesbians, brainwashed, battered fucking boys, binary jumpsuit wearing fucking spastics and clown shoes with fucking handcuffs and guns, and I've got... I haven't even got a microphone. No wonder I'm shouting. Right? I'm not... I'm conveying. Passionately. Morally. WAKE UP! You know? It's coming across as the one that's going to mental with the health of the problem or the nigger gets it. The nigger is getting it! Yeah? You've got a nigger in the fucking White House, right? Nigger in the White House, the true definition of that word. He's a fucking nigger. He is... You know what you could do? You could actually dig up Malcolm X and you could dig up Martin Luther King, right? And you would find that they've struck oil because they're burning so fast in their fucking grave because that fucking nigger cunt is in the fucking White House taking up the fucking ass of a bunch of Zionist reptiles. Yeah, they're fucking good little fucking Uncle Tom fucking worshipping scumbag bastard. Yeah. Yeah, he's a fucking scumbag. He's a homosexual psychopath who takes it up the fucking arse, smokes crack till it's coming out his fucking ears, and you look up to him. Right? Well, he's just tap dancing in front of you. He doesn't give a fuck. He has the brain of a three-year-old boy who's a chronic masturbator. Yeah? He's obviously a junkie wanker if you smoke crack to pretend you're Pharaoh. You can find his boyfriends on YouTube saying, I used to suck his cock in the back of a taxi and he used to say to me that he felt like Tutankhamun, come in, you know, so did I when he was up my ass. Uh, uh, took, come in, uh, uh. The thing is, that's right, right? He is a fucking imbecile, but you've let him circle himself, just like the generations before him, circle himself with increasing rings of paedophiles and sex offenders. 90% of the police force are sex offenders, male and female. 90% of soldiers are sex offenders. 90% of your judicial scum are sex offenders, predominantly fucking paedophiles, especially high court ones. They gravitate towards something that gives their flatlining chicken brain meaning. They got low levels of MAO chemical in their fucking brain. Humans self-regulate, yeah? They don't need to hurt somebody else to excite themselves. They have more self-awareness than that. They have empathy, compassion. They don't get pleasure from pulling the legs off a spider. <laughs> right? They don't have a microdot for a fucking brain. Yeah? Psychopaths have provably a fucking minuscule tiny tiny brain. Right? And pathologically, this one solitary thought pattern. And that's it. Yeah? The variations on that will be, will be the schizophrenics who at least bring in a bit of fucking Radio Gaga. Right? So, um, the point is this, right? Right? You need to wake the fuck up, go to where they are, and stop letting them shite into everything, then point at you, and then you worry, maybe it's me that's gone the bad one. You know, I repeat, they are rotten to the fucking core. If you could film them and hear them doing what they do, right? In a nutcake, they rape children, right? On a regular basis, they get off on it. <laughs> That's exactly the face they pull at the child, hoping the child has this vulnerability, this <laughs> fearful reaction. All of them are the exact same, right? And think about how insane and how inadequate and impotent a scumbag, an imbecile you'd have to be to feel <laughs> powerful at a child being scared of you. Right? How uh, pathetic the bully is, who's really a coward, who tends to pick on people it's calculated, won't provide them with the consequence it knows it deserves. Yeah. So, provide them with the punishment they know they deserve. That's what they get off on. Yeah. The more they know they deserve to be punished, the more free they think they are. Yeah. The more powerful they think they are if you don't punish them. And you've let them surround themselves with these fucking spastics with guns. 
Yeah? Now, they're easily overcome, easily overcome. You are rooted and raging like a fucking demon bound for hell in your life because you're narcissistically programmed to think you're going to be the next megastar. And that's how they usher in world war. And that's how they get you to prey on minorities because of your promise of jam tomorrow. Right, and the thing is this, right? Your jam is never going to come and what the fuck is jam worth? In your one and only life, one and only life, right? One and only life, genuinely be important. Fuck power. Power is self-destruction amongst others. It's a bestial perception you do not have if you're Western, if you're far, further flung you are from Kenya, the more you need to prick up your ears, right? You don't have a moral conscience. Otherwise, you'd be on YouTube shouting your fucking head off. So, right, the point is this, right? <laughs> right, uh, oh, oh, the thing is this, right? If you had a moral conscience, you couldn't go to sleep tonight. You couldn't. Yeah, you couldn't go to sleep. With a smile on your face. That was lovely watching Simon tell those children they couldn't sing or dance with a fuck and watching them cry again. That makes me think my Aunt Maud was right in 1972 when she said to me I could sing the best of all the specialnesses, right? That's the kind of shite that goes on in your head, right? Mm. Right? And it's all pish. What does it produce at the end of the day? So what? Right? You stand in front of a homosexual paedophile and you're... I belong to Glasgow, dear old Glasgow town. There's nothing quite like Glasgow, except when it's going run and run. It's just a load of pish, right? And, and you, um, then, uh, Pharaoh, who's sitting with his giant burst bleeding arse on top of modern day John Lennon's and Jimi Hendrix's, you know, and, you know, Jodie Mitchell's and fucking whoever else, you know. Uh, Janice Joplin's, right? And he's enjoying that. He believes he's controlling your perception of reality. Controlling, right? right? This is what they're all about. They are unself-aware garbage. Look at the work of St. Bram Stoker. And when he says to you, the way you sang into that spoon was gone brillianted, right? And everybody r r ruptures into applause, right? Wishing they could shoot you or be you, right? So fucking what? Right? What does that do? What does that change? I could be able to buy more pies now. Right? What happens? What improves? Right? It's really basic, really simple. A human moral leader, right? Offers your hand down and lifts you up. Right? A psychopath just tries to drag you down. And if you put them above you, they shit on you. And that is it. It's really simple that you want to go over that in your head a few times. Hey, right, so what we need to do, right, is fuck religion. It's all pish. There's some wonderful moral parables you can take out of context and all the rest of it. However, it's really simple. Something is either moral or immoral. Right? Right? So something's either moral or immoral. It's really simple. And if you're unsure of that, then have a brain scan, have an fMRI scan, and check uh, the circuitry in your prefrontal cortex. You'll find your ventral tegmental reward center there, your anterior cingulate cortex there, and also your orbital frontal cortex there. Right? So when they're working uh, in unison, uh, you'll have a fully functioning uh, moral componentry. Added to this, it gives you conscience. Added to this, it gives you humanity, really. You know, when you think it all through. Right? And so there has to also um, connect to both your body and to the heart of your brain, where your soul emanates from. Um, however, the very centre of your brain has to be ignored, really, because that's where most people ingrain their pathology to. If you ingrain your pathology to your ventral tegmental reward centre, and that's all you're about, you're not human. You're an animal. So, the thing is this, right? Quite simple, quite simple, quite simple, quite simple, right? I want you to understand this, right? It's really, really simple, really simple, right? Hold on to all my strides, right? Oh, for the love of God, for the love of mercy, the folks going on here, oh, for God's sake. Right, the thing is this, right? So, you know where you came from? 
and you know how far flung you are. The further you are from Kenya, the more inbred you are, right? The less human you are, the more primitive you are, right? And sadly, if you look at the people who have been ejected most from every country, it's not the Scots, it's actually the Jews. Right? They've been kept out of every fucking country because of the determination for their con of themselves to uh, succeed. Right? Um, just think of Gatorade again there. So the point I'm conveying is, right, they're obsessed with conning themselves, and you can actually rip the pish out of megalomaniacal psychopaths uh, when they're obsessed with conning you. They, they are determined to this tiny, tiny micro dot, and I've seen them almost passing out. Right? They're so obsessed with this tiny, tiny microdot and I've been studying these pieces of shit selflessly so I could shout at you at a later date, although that wasn't really in my plans. But um, the, the, the point I'm conveying is... Um, <laughs> call that wee bastard. <laughs> and uh, the point I'm conveying is that, um, yeah, um, they are imbeciles and if you give them the time of day, it's really simple and I worked this out. Right? They believe if you're not providing them with brutal, merciless, physical consequences, it's because you can't. Because if they can, they always will. Now, Jesus was nailed to a tree because sympathy kills the host. He chucked it, he couldn't be arsed. I'll be covering him uh, on, in Errol on Jesus um, in a few days. Hopefully my throat uh, lasts. I hope his throat does not last, because it's like so to do me and everything, and I have gone special and everything. Shut up, bitch! The thing is, that's right. Right, I'm going to mention somebody who I've not mentioned before, Saint Mel Gibson. And if he ever sees this, for the love of God, Mel, contact me. Don't ruin it all, right? Because it's really quite straightforward, right? Uh, you could watch Apocalypto, and pretty much a lot of what I'm saying now, think about it, um, uh, he's covered actually in that movie. He also did The Passion of the Christ, and if you look back at his work, he's trying to tell you something. He's entertained people for decades and all the rest of it, and, you know, um, his movie, uh, Lethal Weapon, he's given you a huge clue. Diplomatic immunity! Right? And, you know, he tells you, fuck what these imbeciles are holding up as pretend law, right? Uh, just fucking shoot them through the head, right? They are talking utter shit. It's just morality and immorality. Use a lethal fucking weapon. That's what Mel was telling you, right? Um, he also then did a movie before that, actually, called Mad Max, where he's giving you a vision of the future. And that is your future. Right? because of what they have uh, squashed you down into and then shat on top of you. Whereas a human moral leader who happens to simply have a more evolved brain, you know, lifts you up, you know. Uh, they can, we are whack-a-mole! You know, they, they want to you know, oppress you to the nth degree. And all I'm pointing out to you is that he then did a movie uh, amongst that called Conspiracy Theory, hint, hint. Uh, he also did... Uh, uh, as I mentioned, The Passion of the Christ, where he shows you the, the real story, well, much of the real story uh, of uh, Jesus. He did a movie, as I mentioned, called Apocalypto, where he shows you the future uh, by reflecting the past and how it's simply one and the same. And you know, in amongst all that, you know, he was uh, uh, did a fantastic movie called uh, Braveheart, where he shows you, as, as St. Bram Stoker also showed you, go to where they are and fucking execute them. Right. Saint Mel Gibson showed you right into their bedroom, just fucking smashed their skull in. Saint Bram Stoker, uh, yeah, showed you go in, put the fucking stake through their heart, cut their fucking head off them. Right, your ancestors showed you to take them to the river and burn them. Uh, uh, they don't drown. Yeah, right? your ancestors. Right, and I'm saying as a living Christ, whereas I have no weapon, at least to hand right now, and. They're surrounded by fucking armies of <laughs> foolishly stupid, foaming, rabid fucking sex offenders desperate to get somebody else into the fucking dungeon system, right? And then to <laughs> torture them for sexual pleasure because they're constantly trying uh, to project their own self-loathing uh, uh, innocent good people. Because self-loathing is always disguised in the imbecile, right? Uh, when they're triggered uh, into a state of existential jealousy. Right? And it's insanity, and it's just bad breeding, bad raising, and all the rest of it. Um, and then that's disguised as hatred, because obviously being the epitome of hatred is obviously a good thing. Um, and those imbeciles would pretend that you are hatred if you provide them with the consequence they deserve. Right? 
It doesn't matter a fuck what they think about anything. If they don't want to fucking do the time, they shouldn't commit the fucking crime. If they don't want the consequence, the punishment, then they shouldn't commit sex offences because they enjoy doing what they know they deserve to be punished for, right? Could you make them feel better about themselves? Because they're fucking lunatics. All sex offenders are lunatics. All lunatics are sex offenders, right? It's really simple. Cut off from meaning at the front of their life, right? Cut off from depth at the core of their life and wired back to front at the <coughs> plaza center of their life. Yeah, they are just grossly limited subhuman fucking garbage, right? Simple fact, right? And they didn't need to become that. They've been ingrained to be like that. They've been encouraged to be like that because they recognise the ones running the show are identical to them, right? So they gravitate towards that, like Hitler and Stalin both did, you know? You've seen it called care in the community. You can still go to the person who made up that phrase and execute them in public for daring uh, to bring that phrase out because they ejaculated when they came up with that phrase, care in the community, right? By releasing every single sex offender in the entire country, right? And then a few years later saying, oh, it turned out to be a bad mistake that they pre-planned uh, and were basically mimicking precisely what happened just before World War II. With Hitler and Stalin knowing themselves to be the kind of people uh, that usually find themselves in asylums, who'd killed both their partners by simply fucking with their minds, knowing uh, how obsessed they are, uh, they wanted to find people who they could rely upon <clears throat> to be determined to be the exact same shit, you know. So they just let everybody out of the asylums, yeah. And then put them in uniforms and handed them a gun, hint, hint, and you go along with law protecting that insane shite. All those fucking scumbag, warmongering paedophiles <laughs> obsessed with <laughs> their lunatic ventral tegmental reward centre, the only meaning to the otherwise flatlining, meaningless life. And what I'm pointing out, which is really simple, that wee girl that was drinking Gatorade, right? She still drinks from that same poisoned faucet, you know? You drink from a poisoned faucet, you eat gruel, and the gruel's poisoned, you take uh, needless inoculations, you know? Look, the mark of the fucking beast, I didn't want that, you know? I was gonna give it a miss. You know, all my instincts have always been right, because I'm not from, uh, you know, like um, Scotland really, you know, I'm more Middle Eastern and I've always fe felt an, an affinity to Africa, you know, uh, I've given hundreds of thousands uh, to Africa um, and found out a significant percentage of that was being robbed by the shite uh, whom I was giving it to. For example, World Vision in Glasgow or a con, you know, they just take your money and spend it on fucking shite. <laughs> They're lunatics, you know. And I've got evidence on them and I'll be exposing them along with others in Erlon Charity. Um, and so, I live my life the right way, but you cannot live your life the right way. Like, for la 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 la, because it leads to, it, it's kind of ignoring what you must be doing, your moral obligation, your moral duty. Uh, I'm living proof the universe rewards moral positivity in action, right? I own the most beautiful estate that I've ever seen in the whole of Laggy Trot, and I've seen hundreds and hundreds before I purchased it. Every single day I get gifts from on high from all sorts of different directions. Like, you wouldn't believe if you received one of those gifts, you'd be dancing and singing like Simon Cowell had told you. Uh, you'd sang an ancient shite song that doesn't matter a fuck to a bunch of inbred psychopaths, uh, reasonably okay. And so, um, uh, and I, I get a string of more of these as the day continues, but I would ask you just to do one thing, at least look up, you know, and where you should have a big brother, you know, giving you a hand up from the gutter where these scumbags are dragging you down, trying to force you down a hole to shit on you. If you look up, they are shitting on you from the air. <laughs> right? And these are the people who your obedience to their made-up pish uh, allows it to perpetuate. It's made-up shite. And it's because shite like themselves, shite psychopaths who are autistic, um, myopic, morally insane sex offenders, right? Uh, who've got tiny, minuscule chicken brains, <laughs> obsessed with 
tiny point scoring because they hope, as it sometimes works, that you lose all awareness because they have no self-awareness, right? Um, and if they do, they don't have any feeling, gosh. Um, so, um, the point being, um, they're obsessed with nah, 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 this kind of quick fire chicken brain game of top trump, nah, 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 right? And you very often get it with females, uh, young females. Uh, I studied a six year old uh, female psychopath not too long ago, um, and she's certainly it's gobsmacking. Um, they're pretending that they want you to slow down and spoon feed them because that would be the only way to stop the imbecile uh, from trying to pretend to correct you, you know. Um, and uh, they are basically trying to. They're, all, they're always trying to get you to feel how it feels to be them. See how you like it. It's got nothing to do with you. When Peter Sutcliffe went out smashing females' heads in with a hammer, you know, what the fuck did that have to do with his mother giving him a hard time? You know, obviously he identified that a lot of females are really similar. And so, but to his object fucked brain, you know, where every day is Groundhog Day and females are just objects, a shape will do. You know, you are just a shape. There was an autistic kid who got, and it was seven years of age, before he realised that people weren't just like an ornament, like a lamp or a vase. <laughs> you know, and on top of that, if you've got temporal lobe dysfunction, which I've not spoken about, if you've got temporal lobe dysfunction, then uh, that means uh, you're fucking, you know, man, you, you, there's no hope for you. You just need to be... You know, well looked after from a safe distance. You know, temporal lobe dysfunction and frontal lobe dysfunction or the rest of it. You know, plus it can be comorbid with exposed wiring, um, you know, inflammation, you name it. And all I'm pointing out to you is the brain, right? The evolution of the brain, right? That's the only thing that matters, you know? We're not all the same, it's total fucking shite. Morality's not just your opinion. You know, truth, it can't be just whatever suits you're feeling, yeah, especially when you're being narcissistically programmed to feel that you are something that you're not. And if you just take a wee jaunt back, right, to Dresden, I am genuinely speaking to the ghosts of Dresden, right? Right? And I'm saying to you, I don't give a fuck what you think about me, you know. The people who were Aryan, the people who were tall, blonde and human, were all put into a cattle truck, Germans, and taken off and executed, well, at least uh, forced into a concentration camp or ten. And the reason being, they were conscientious objectors, they were brilliant Germans. So if you kill a million conscientious Germans, right, who's passing on their genes? Oh, the shite of the day. Yeah. And then you go back to Africa and murder the original man who wanted to show you. Well, what are we left with? We're left with inbreeding paedophiles, narcissistic psychopaths, and the occasional living Christ who tries to tell you the same fucking thing. Kill anyone who wants to be your authorita. Right? Remember the phrase? Do you remember it? Hostile dependency. Right? They all depend on you. Gandhi told you, I came to it myself before I found his genius, right? Just what Jesus said as well, shun them, right? If they come at you because they won't accept you shunning them, use the strongest weapon you can get your hands on to fucking execute them, right? Martin Luther King, uh, when he was quoting Gandhi, said we need to shed their blood if they don't accept what we're fucking doing, the direction we've decided to go in. We don't need that archaic pyramidal shite anymore. We are a united people who are going to try and put aside our divisions, right, and overthrow these insignificant specks of dirt who want to pile shite on top of us to form a shit cone everywhere. There is no jam tomorrow unless you heed what I'm saying, follow this great advice, and we can fucking get there, right? However, religion, you know, <laughs> mixes that in, politics, they've duped X amount of people, you know, the, the, the paedophile uh, binary dog collar welling imbeciles have duped X amount of people, 
celebrity and delusions of narcissism of dupe X amount of people. You know, so I know there's a 0.000001% chance that I'm passing on the baton, you know. And, you know, there are other people out there, um, you know, raising awareness is too slow. It's not fast enough. They are shitting on you from a great height. <laughs> right? Every single day, that's a moron in a jet going, <laughs> They think they're getting into the bunker with the Zionist Jews. They can think again. They're going to get a fucking shut eye with a bang, right? And so, you've already been genetically mutated, unfortunately, uh, dreadfully and unforgivably. So therefore, you must provide the people behind it with consequence. They are lunatics. They put on a mask, like Berserko Bampot. However, uh, behind the mask, there's a homosexual paedophile. Uh, who are uniformly megalomaniacal psychopaths um, and a megalomaniac always, if they're in charge, leads to enormous volumes and wave after wave of shite that baby wants you to clean up because baby won't be seen by you as Marilyn Monroe. Baby won't be seen by you uh, as Clark Gable. And the reality is, even if you do, baby is incontinent. Baby <laughs> wants more. Baby wants the moon. Baby wants to stand on the moon. Baby wants to be made of cheese. You know, it's a fucking jabbering spastic. Just cut baby's fucking head off, right? And fuck it in a bin with the rest of the garbage, right? If you'd done that with Hitler, right? Well, somebody else would have come along, uh, cut their head off, put it in a bin. Right? Somebody else would have come along, uh, cut their head off, put it in a bin. How can you tell? I've already told you, fMRI scans. Nobody should be in a decision-making position of any kind unless you brain scan them because spasmos naturally gravitate towards the decision making position so they can abuse it and get away with abusing it you know think about the fucking vicar right we're all gathered here today in the sight of god to listen to me getting off on conning you because that proves i've gone more intelligent than you i'm far more intelligent than you because i've conned you into thinking I'm a very, very special, very caring vicar. Um, and he'll give mass as his front for years, behind which he's looking, and that's a vulnerable mother. Um, he's working with the police so he can get that mother uh, sectioned because they can come round, find something on her, give it to the sociopath work department to take the kid off her, and next thing he's shagging her at the black mass. Right? <laughs> and you think to yourself, that's beyond... Uh, what I can believe, however, it's what happens every fucking week, you know, it's what happens every fucking day, right? Your high court judges have dungeons with children in them, <laughs> right? They don't give a fuck about what's going to happen to the species, right? They're renowned for having no function there, which means you can't forward plan, you've no vision, right? You only really live in the here and now for sexual pleasure and you're a fucking lunatic, right? right? If you've no moral conscience, right, you have uh, very often, you're, you're missing uh, a, 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 an evolved section of your amygdala cortex which will allow you to feel remorse, however, you're not going to feel remorse if you think you're right, right? You ever met a monkey that said, Hey, by the way, I know I eat bananas and wank myself off with my own feet and I actually shag my own son, but I'm starting to think I've gone wrong! Right? No, you, know, you never ever get a monkey that will say that to you, um, and neither did Jimmy Savile during the course of his entire life say, ah, as it happens, as it happens, uh, uh, I, I, I'm a fucking beast and I need hung. Right? So, they factor out everything to you, everything to you, right? and so you must go to where they are and provide them with brutal, merciless physical consequences. It's okay, um, unite with those around you, don't fight with them, right? because you know, that one shagged your cat and he took your lawnmower and that one's an arsehole and an alcoholic. You share a common enemy, right? Megalomaniacal psychopaths, right? You'll see them everywhere. Hillary Clinton, or to give her her correct name, Hitlery Clinton, right? She, right, very, very like the face uh, Ellen DeGeneres pulls, right? They're both lesbians, they're both megalomaniacal psychopaths, and Hitler Clinton is a serial killer who gets off on killing men. And her husband, 
lo lovable, lovable uh, Billary Clinton, you know, <laughs> yeah, right? Um, like the lion out of the fucking Wizard of Oz a wee bit. <laughs> I was just, a, oh, oh, I was just was wonderful, huh, a friendly big guy. But he's actually a rapist, a serial killer, and a fucking raven lunatic, right? And you know, um, think about the logic. You know, Billary shuts the door, and there's his new secretary. He looks at her arse, gets the thought, and must carry it out as far as he's concerned. He's calculated she'll not provide him with consequence, and no one will believe Potus uh, is a rapist, you know. <laughs> so he goes up behind her and just pulls her pants down and starts raping her. <laughs> not to be uh, outdone, uh, Billary then rips her shirt off and starts biting through her shoulder skin. <laughs> right? So that was going to get out because he'd done it quite a few times, right? So what he did was, and it stands to reason, doesn't it? it has reason. What, what he did was, um, he bombed Bosnia. Right? It stands to reason, isn't it? When you're about to be caught for raping uh, repeatedly in the White House, right? Uh, you bomb Bosnia. It just naturally follows, you know? And so um, on page 26 of one uh, section of the Judean Post, well, by the way, Billary's raping lassies and biting through the fucking skin going, <laughs> um, but don't, don't worry about that. Page one. Bosnia's went bam bam, you know, and um, uh, Hitler A. Clinton was behind that. Um, now, as I said, I know 0.0001% of people uh, are getting this transmission. I'm doing my bit, you know, um, and I'm doing what I can. I'm doing what's right. I'm keeping my, my promises as usual. And unsurprisingly, I own the promised land, and that's the name of my farm. And um, I do intend to move to a mountain, so... Uh, if I can move mountains, you know, um, you can shift your arse, stop watching mad poofs, and stop a being made up fucking law. I'm living proof. You can obey every single fucking law that shite make up as they go along. It's all bullshit. They don't obey any of it. None of it at all, right? Go to where they are and fucking hang every single one of them, right? Right? At least brain scan them and you'll find 90% of them have tiny, tiny, tiny little brains, absolutely minuscule brains, very limited pathology, and when you ask them questions on the clipboard, um, have you ever had sex with a child? Um, every single one of them will lie that they haven't, uh, and they have. 90% of your judiciary are paedophiles. 90% of Freemasons, free. See, they're above the law that you follow. Right? Ever since you let them kill your heroes, your leaders, they killed Wallace, right? They killed Jesus, they killed Martin Luther King, your leaders, your moral leaders, who told you, look, it's bloodshed now, it's bloodshed time, or we can't have it, you know? Gandhi said uh, the Zionist Jews should just kill themselves, and I, I, I'll tell you this, Aaron Schwartz, right, it was a fantastic, fantastic Jew, and a wonderful guy, and, you know, they hung him, you know, very, very, very young guy, just bundled him into a cupboard <laughs> and they just hung him, you know, uh, they got off on that, you know, because basically he was a threat to their <laughs> control, that game that, that Jesus woke people up to by kicking them up in the fucking air in the temple saying this fucking pish, it's all pish, right, all bullshit, wake up, yeah. Right? They nailed him to a tree. They don't want you to wake up. Think about the fundamental lack of self-awareness when the game you want to win can only be played against people who don't know they're in the game, right? It's like a hun getting a taxi to the finish line of a marathon and celebrating wildly as they breast the tape in first place when only they know about the marathon, right? And then giving people the fingers, haha, <laughs> I've won, right? They're lunatics. They don't exist in reality, yeah? They're winning a game, only they're in, called genocide, or to put it more accurately, mega death. Um, it's the death of a whole species. And obviously what's left behind are three-year-old incontinence who think everybody is just going to go along with it. But you already see in China, people are just killing themselves. You know, uh, that's one way to shun them. But how, how about just going to where they are and fucking executing them? Or if they resist, yeah? Uh, or... Uh, if they don't resist, you know, um, which they will, uh, but if they do, taking them and brain scanning them, 
you'll see what I'm saying is true, and then providing them with brutal, merciless, physical consequence. I'm a living Christ, right? I do what it takes, and the law of the universe, right, rewards you of your moral. If you're immoral, it punishes you. The difference is, I get rewarded really, really quickly, and I can prove that evidentially, right? You get punished slowly but surely on account of what it is you are. And the further you are away from Kenya, right, the more shite a person you are. And that's a fact, uh, basically. Uh, genetically, that is. You know, it's like, <laughs> just honking, unself-aware garbage, you know? If you can rob someone, if you can con someone, if you can lie to someone, uh, do somebody a bad turn, give them the worst word in your mouth, pull an ugly face, act out your self-loathing because they don't see you as Zsa Zsa Gabor. Yeah, if you can do that, you always do that. Right? Every single time without exception for eternity, sympathy kills the host. So I can't get far enough away from this species. Uh, it's a subspecies, really. Right? I'm really evolved and neuroanatomically, and I've met nothing but shite in my entire life. I can count in one hand the people I would meet again, really. Um, and that's, well, I'm over a quarter of a decade through my fifth decade of life. Not bad, on it, eh? Morality and vegetarianism, same thing. So, right? Law is made up, pish, by artistic sex offenders, right? It's all shite. There are some good things in there, but you just dispense with it. You use brain scanning and a fucking clipboard, right? And that gets rid of all these pieces of dirt who, <laughs> who are ruthlessly determined to stop you from overthrowing their fucking shite made up game. And all they have to do is feed you narcissistic crap and poison through your fucking letterbox. And that's an end to the matter, right? They are completely and utterly, woefully insane. Their temporal lobes are fucked, the front of their brain's fucked, and the older they get, the more fucked their brain gets until they degenerate to fuck all, right? So what I'm saying to you is they are cream crackers, right? They are fucking cuckoo, right? And you cannot have sex with a child if you're a 50-year-old guy without needing your head cut off, right? And it doesn't matter a fuck what they think about me. Jesus, you know, decided... Fuck what these people think about me. I'm going into the temple with a fucking bullwhip, yeah? Right? Um, Gandhi said, fuck what these people think about me. You know, fuck them. Yeah? Your shit's garbage, you wee dicks. Yeah? So, Martin Luther King went, I have a dream. I might not get there with you, but I'm not fearing anybody. I'm not fearing any man. My eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. Right? And... That's quite a declaration of, of not giving a fuck what garbage who are rotten to the core think or pretend to think when they're pointing their stubby fucking shit stained finger at you with three crooked talons pointing back at themselves and the mountain of evil deeds that are going to go with them to wake them to the depths of hell in their next generation. And here's the punchline. They're in a glass house, <laughs> throwing stones from within a glass house. And I'm standing surrounded by boulders, yeah? And so are you, when it comes to these pieces of fucking shit. It's not power, right? You are important, yeah? You're not important sitting, making fart noises on a couch, you know, yeah? You're not important watching paedophiles making ch kids cry on the television. They believe they've demoralised you to that extent. Demoralisation, demotivation, yeah. You're not important like that. They want you to feel impotent because they're impotent unless they're getting it up a fucking kid's arse, right? And then eating the child, right? Starving the children to death going, <laughs> We can do whatever we want, we've gone brilliant technicians. Right? They are lunatics, they are garbage, they pride themselves on going to hell. They pride themselves on needing shot. Their special talents are being full of shit whilst needing shot in the face. You know, that's a really special talent, that, isn't it? Being full of shit whilst needing shot in the fucking face. And if you don't, they think it's because you can't. Because if they can, they always will. Right? Every single time, without exception for eternity. You wonder that funny tonight? I want my money back so I can buy another bum monkey. Fuck you and your bum monkey. Fuck off back to your poison potato divisions, you little shit. So, here's the thing. Hey, hey, 
right? Law is made up, Pish. You've already just said that. All right, right. Um, so you don't need it anymore. And you must rid yourself of your police farce, your, your sociopath work department, your binary dog call wearing fucking uh, fake hedge priests and so on, right? And it's really, really simple. Local village circles, just like you had with Baba Koto and follow me, right? Start there. One old gent and one old lady in every street, right? Because what you'll find is this, right? Say a, a small town of 3,000, right? Right? In every small town of 3,000 people, right? In the Naltox, for example, um, they donate half a million pounds to their local council. And their local council is really quite simple. It just receives delivery of stationery. <laughs> Predominantly red ink. <laughs> and in a nutshell, you don't get one penny of it, right? Out of the odd token gesture and that's it. The rest goes to local landed pedophiles, right? And Jack McConnell's uh, departing speech tells you that. He was there for at least 10 years, right? And he never got one penny for his constituency. Not one penny. And he kept asking for it for 10 years and they kept patting him on the head saying no. Because he accepted that for 10 years, they then made him Premier of Scotland, right? Where he continued to remain from that constituency and even as the President or fucking Prime Minister or Premier of the whole of Scotland, he still didn't get one pence to spend on his fucking constituency. Where was it? Right? Unfortunately, the place where I spent my adult life, really, um, called Pishy Wishy, right? If you are the Premier of Scotland and you're not allowed one pence allowed, right, by a bunch of fucking paedophile scumbags, it's what he said when he left. That's his biggest regret, that he wasn't allowed one pence. You're giving, from every town of 3,000 people, half a million to your local council who are all in a fucking pyramid funding paedophiles. It's apocalypto, yeah? A picture being the fucking Prime Minister of the whole country, right? And you're not allowed one pence to spend on your fucking area. Just token gestures. And you could walk through Pishy Wish, or it's called Wisher, right? Even the railings must be half size. It's a joke. Everything's a joke on you. They are fucking garbage. If you did 0.001% to them of what they do to you constantly, they would be fucking fuming with rage, right? Go to where they are and fucking execute them, right? Right? What I'm saying is, one old lady and one old man, you dispense with your corrupt council where the money goes to those who are hostile dependents who you don't need, right? Imagine that. You get fucking enormous volumes of harm coming to you if you don't go along with those who depend on you, right? You don't need them. They are a paedophile ring of warmongering, genocidal maniacs who murder and oppress you for pleasure and because they want what they think you might then have and and you've already got this great brain so they, they, they've got this wee chicken's brain and they want to carry on fucking kids and you won't let them how can they afford to have kids shipped in from Kenya if you have a fair share of what it is you're actually paying those stupid fucking pieces of garbage to steal from you. And it fucking trickles into all these arseholes mouths all the way down to your local fucking landed paedophile rings. The people you can only ever meet at a distance on a train as you travel through areas you only ever see with cattle who they consider to be a higher form of life than you. As their house is that thing you see far in the distance on the fucking brow of a hill. And they're the lower caste of that fucking landed shite who promised the incumbent, uh, for example, in Scotland, it's, uh, they call themselves Protestants, they're not, they're, they're, they're Celts, they're the most inbred Celts of all, and um, they promise them jam tomorrow and tell them the odd secret and give them the odd token gesture. It's just like a, a bigger example of the council, and that's enough to make those idiots believe they're in one. However, then the fucking scum see the Catholics, who are meant to be the second class citizens, laughing and smiling, and they think, fuck, when am I getting my jam? I'm a miserable cunt. There's those Catholics laughing with nothing, you know? And they don't know the secrets that we know on them. You know, they, they're not in one and up one and an imaginary shit cone. And this is what keeps country after country 
oppressed by paedophile rings. The paedophile promises the imbeciles who are incumbent that they're in one and up one in an imaginary ship going so they can delude themselves narcissistically uh, that they are being privileged with promises of jam tomorrow that never come, ever. Uh, and uh, the odd token gesture that will keep them quiet for a while longer whilst their sons and daughters are taken and thrown uh, into the jaws of death. And they're then consumed with what you could call racism towards people who are meant to be the outcast, second class citizen. And I saw it more clearly when I came to Lagutrop, where the people are remarkably inbred and they're dwarfs with square heads and they're rooted raging megalomaniacal uh, psychopaths. They're much more megalomaniacal than even in Denal talks. However, they're actually nicer people <laughs> in, in some ways as well. However, they're, f they're even more primitive in certain other ways. So you have these different mutations of psychopathy and functions, but the long and the short of it is um, that there's no getting away from, uh, like in Bulgaria and in Greece uh, and in provincial areas of Spain uh, and Italy, uh, there's this, this um, determination to delude yourself. So I take you back to Dresden. Right, fuck. I need to go and get a poison potato variation. All right. right. So I take you back to Dresden, right? And I'm talking to the ghosts of Dresden. The ghosts of Dresden are saying to me, I don't give a fuck what you say about anything, mate. Right? Or to put it more accurately, I do not give a fuck what you say about anything, my friend. What? What? Right? Right? So, however, you know, I, I know what's coming, right? You've been narcissistically groomed, right? And what does a, a paedophile vicar call uh, the husband to be, uh, and and I don't know. So you've been narcissistically groomed for World War Three. Uh, you've been promised jam tomorrow. You've been narcissistically enraged. You're passing that into each other's lives. Um, you've been implanted by all the people your ancestors would have taken to a river and drowned or burned, um, and you are degenerate to an extraordinary extent, um, and. It's inevitable that you're getting World War Three, but before it happens, you're being, just in case it doesn't come to pass, you're being irradiated uh, constantly and just sitting there while it's happening, you know. When, if you had something spilling in your living room, you would go to where it is and erect it, remedy it, deal with it, but you have incontinent lunatics behind that happening, right? And you're just sitting there watching square-headed poofs squashing the life out of any kind of artistic nourishment of your soul, uh, telling children to cry. And um, you know, see Myra Hindley and her eight-track tape collection. And, and the point being, um, you know, get off your arse, unite with as many people as possible, go to where they are, and if all this comes to pass, yeah, and you don't end up being torn to pieces, right? And blown to pieces because people as stupid as you need to be carpet bombed to acknowledge how stupid you are, right? Think about how stupid you'd have to be to be carpet bombed to acknowledge that you talk utter shite. That's your idea of intelligence for as long as you're not provided with consequence, right? It's coming and it's all around you. Remember, I'm rewarded quickly and it's just, I mean, I'm not asking for reward. It just keeps coming in, you know. However, you're punished slowly, but surely. And I absolutely assure you, it's for eternity. Yeah. Pretty big one to get wrong, that gamble, isn't it? And what they're pushing. I'll expose it in L on Twitter. They're pushing the idea of atheism. It doesn't get more stupid than being atheist, really. Really. Yeah. And even if you are atheist, right? A theist who doesn't believe in atheism, who uh, believes in a belief in nothing, um, and uh, would defend that to the end, funnily enough. Yeah, it's funnily. Uh, uh, defending to the end a belief in nothing. Uh, and you're against theism, but you believe in atheism. I could go on. Suffice to say, some very aggressive um, uh, people coming from the shite house uh, who support that one, and um, uh, who are determined that you think more and more immorally. Uh, they're insane, subhuman garbage who are absolutely determined and full of determination. They deserve an axe through their fucking head. Right? So, I'm telling you, 
I'm telling you, uh, St. Mel Gibson, right? Bram Stoker, Jesus of Nazareth, another living Christ, right? Martin Luther King, they all told you the same thing. Malcolm X said, it's not violence, that's a word psychopaths have invented, it's intelligence, because it's self-defense. Right? Go to where they are and fucking kill them. Right? For the love of the passion of the Christ, swing away. Everything that, find anything,